Hi everyone, it's Clara here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, yes, I want to show you some, um, a few things. And using the, uh, the uh, tools and um, stamps, etc. that I got from Craspire. <clears throat> and what I want to make today is, um, I'm not too sure where I saw this, but my friend Britta <clears throat> had sent me some napkins and she also sent me um, some napkins that she had decoupaged onto coffee dyed paper and I thought they looked really, really, really nice. So I want to do that and um, yeah, that's what I want to do. The This is not going to be the usual way that you decoupage which is normally you um, glue the paper and then put the napkin on top and then you you um, you uh, brush over again with the glue what I'm gonna do is I'm going to iron on the napkin and that gives you a smoother look um, I like both I like the smooth look as well as the the one where you decoupage and uh, with the glue first and then the napkin and then glue again everything is just wet and then you wait for it to dry but what happens here is that I've already um, painted the glue on and let me just show you the glue that I use my pot looks really horrible but this is the glue that I use it's um, wood glue white the white wood glue that I've watered down um, and it works very well for decoupaging it's really really good so I've already painted on the, I say painted on, I've already put on the glue and on two different coffee dyed paper. So this is obviously the dark one. This is obviously the lighter one. And I only do one side so that this side you'll be able to write on this side here. So I've only done just one side. And, and I'm melting the, um, the beads here. I put seven in there. Maybe it needs one more. I put seven beads this size. I think I need one more. So while that melts, let me move this to the side and show you what is supposed to happen here. Um, so obviously we all know that we have to just look at this beautiful napkin. Absolutely amazing. So what we have to do is we need to remove the extra layers and just, oh boy, and just, that's not a problem though, and just remain with the one. So I think this has two layers. Kind of tricky getting this out as we all know. We've done this before. Is that it? Just, no. just checking. Here yeah, there's one more layer. Um, it works very, very well off camera, right? Yeah, I got it. And we remove the next layer as well. And I keep these to, I don't throw these away, keep them for, you know, wiping off glue and stuff like that. It's going to stay there. And, um, okay, so this is a dark one. So I want it to be on the dark and the dark coffee dyed paper and what you need to do is let me move these out of the way first what you need to do is just put it down like this and then iron it and you have to hang on you have to use uh, the grease proof paper on top don't iron it directly you're going to have a horrible mess because the glue is going to melt and it's going to stick the, the napkin on top. So you have to put the grease proof paper on top here like that. Okay. And then we put on the iron. I have one of the biggest irons in the world. This one here. And we have setting. I just have um, three settings. I think most irons just have three set settings. So you have to put your setting at um, two. 
it has to be on two too hot is not good um and too cold is also not good so yes yeah so I'll put it at two right okay so put it at two and i'm just waiting for this to get hot 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 warm well no it's quite hot where is the measurement on this iron is to here this is really silly i think it's here i'll put it at two it mustn't be too hot and then you iron for a and really watch this iron only for one minute exactly one minute no longer and no less let me just wait for it to get the right temperature yeah it's good so i'm starting to iron in let me just get the clock right here like right now and i iron for one minute just everywhere keeping my eye on my watch Don't go over one minute, trust me. Or maybe maybe other people have better ways to do this. I don't know. Probably. So I'm just making sure I'm going everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And a few more seconds left. got here see nice and smooth and it's adhered wait wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute let's get this part here okay excuse me that's good now what we have to do is what did i miss here this is gonna end up being another disastrous tutorial or what oh, maybe i missed here i didn't though i haven't done this in a while silly because i forgot i hadn't put glue here i had not put glue right to the end okay so i take my scissors i take my scissors and i cut away the access nicely though Asking myself why I haven't put I didn't put you all the way to the end. That's a bit crazy. Yeah, it's a bit silly. Okay, so there we go. These um maybe I'll keep them. I don't know. It's this so loud. This looks like material. But anyway, what I'm trying to do is, and I have to cut this off. This is the part with the, um, what are these things, the little dots. Anyway, so what we're trying to do is, we're trying to make this into a, um, like a folded 
envelope or letter or something you know like this okay that's what we're trying to do and then also we have to you can leave it like this i guess but i think what i'll do is um you see how smooth that is Just showing you a close up again uh, you could also um, take your brush and your glue again and put glue on top carefully but to save time we are not going to do that right now because it's not going to dry in time and I'm thinking whether I should just do that I guess I have to just pause and do that but anyway you get the idea guys so this is it this is it okay and what i'm going to do is i am going to put let's just cut off a piece i'm gonna cut off a piece here you might want it this way yes Cut off a piece of the thing, baking paper, and then I'm going to, is this thing melted? Why is it off? Honestly. Where are my matches? Uh, yeah. Let's put the candle, the candle is off, the tea candle. Gotta get hot again. It was melting all this time. Just a minute. So my my uh, wax is not. Um, what do you say? Soft enough to pour. So let's put that back again. Get it hot. While we do another one, let's do another napkin. Oh yeah, let me show you. And I'm gonna use this. So let's measure this also in the meantime. Um, I like this color. So we're gonna put it like this like that but i have enough to tie around i think this will be enough will it it's too much maybe not better more than less in this case and uh yes that's very good so let's put this to the side Let's get this one here. See this napkin? Another beautiful napkin with butterflies. I still love my butterflies. I haven't been using them a lot in many of my journals, but I am in the next one. I'm making a swap or doing a swap with Kylie of Paper Daisy Journals. And her journal is about to be ready. So let's place that like that. And put this on top. And iron for one minute. We need to make this hotter. <laughs> So we're just melting the glue, obviously. It's... Yeah, so you can do this and then um, you brush on top again with some, some of the, some people use mud podge. 
but that's very expensive so i just buy this glue and water it down and i get a lot and some mod podge very expensive too okay let's see what this looks like yeah it's glued down it's glued down let's cut to myself now why i didn't paint the whole a four size paper this is a four size paper by the way what i'm using and i'm gonna use to use my stuff this is i'm gonna show you on this one as well what i was talking about we we're just talking about it so this is the the glue this is the consistency so if you put like 300 milliliters of glue you put a hundred um, milliliters of water you know that's what i do that's the ratio that you should use yeah it's better to do this than your your um the parging is complete not too much not too little Here. I'll probably pause this video, get my hair dryer, dry this thing, and you can see the end result when you put the glue on top as well. Let's put that there, there, Let's connect the iron, and all right, let me move this to the side. Bring back our dry one, and I suppose I will uh, do the same on the, let me just do the same on this one, why talk? Let me just do it. We need more wasteful paper. And I know people like tutorials, but your girl Clara is disorganized. Where is the brush oh, here? All right. So let's paint this one too. Let's do this. It's been a while since I've done this really. It's been a long time. A long time. Okay. And I hope everybody is doing all right out there in this current situation and Maybe a lot of people have already settled down into this new normal of living life with masks and restrictions and rules and all sorts of things. 
and we're all coping well. That's the most important part. Make sure you are coping. Find someone or something that will help you cope. Talk to people and you should be fine. That's done. So I have to pause and then dry this and come back. See you in a, well, it will be there in a second. Um, I better press pause. <laughs> okay, so I have uh, used my blow dryer and I have dried these, um, the glue. Here and here. Okay, and we have to cut off this terrible looking glue here. It's easy enough. There we have it. And this is very, uh, what do you say, strong. You can even make this into a uh, journal cover, you know. It's, 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 it feels like leather right now. It feels like leather. Let's neaten this up a bit more. Right, I'm happy with that. Now, what I'm going to do is put that there. Where is the string? Where is the string that I cut? Beautiful. Looks like, oh, it's on the floor. Ah, okay. I think I'm going to leave the <laughs> tutorials for the really, the Angela Kerrs and the Tony Samuels of this world and Nick the Booksmith, etc. I'm just going to make journals. How about that? So yeah, then we do this, put this here, I've never tried this before, I hope this is going to work, and I'm going to use my rose, um, a rose stamp, so let's put this about, let's say, I think here, please work, don't flow all over the place, let's put some, doop, and I drop that and put that back take our raise the rose stamp here's the rose stamp make sure i do it the right way which is which way now this way oh my gosh i hope this works and just leave it there let's see what this is gonna look like so obviously I'll leave it there for a while and let me put some more beads for this one. This is purple, so I'm going to use some purple beads. So I'm going to put some dark ones because there's still some of this left. So seven is too, too many. Don't use seven beads. That's too many. I'm using, I think, five is fine. Five beads. And there, I don't know how long it's going to take to mount, but... Yes, okay, so we wait and wait, and here's the next one. Let me just move this here carefully and clean this one up as well. Oh, great! Wonderful. 
Okay, nothing happened. Fold. Oh yeah, did I show you the texture on this thing? Smoother than when you do it the other way. For this one, I'm going to put purple, but then that has to melt. And I'm going to use, I think, green as well. Let's use green. Should we use green? Let's use green. Let us use green. So what are you going to use these for um, in your journals? You can uh, use it as a... Um, what do you say? place to journal on obviously or write someone a letter and send it to them and seal it up like this um yeah i'm gonna use them in my um in my journals obviously the ones that i make cut a piece let that go and we wait for this to dry to, to dry to 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 what to melt Let's see, let's take this one off. Yes. Here we go. And then we close it here. So you're going to write something in here. Da -da -da -da. And then uh, seal it. Close it, not seal it. No, I'm sealing it. Could have done a better job though with pouring. Um, and then close it here. Okay, so these were actually too long. <laughs> right? But you get the idea, guys. See? Nice and smooth. As I said, this is this is strong now. You can make this also into a little um, traveler's notebook uh, journal thing um, yeah that's melting just hang on guys just hang on yeah and I'm gonna stick this in a, a journal with a paper clip or something you know so here's one I do like that one and then let's move on to the next one the beads have already melted close it like that and and all the details to where I got these um, these things from will be in the description box down below from Craspire so this one I'm gonna be a bit more what should I use the thistle or what I use this one Stamp. and I think I'm gonna pour here not so far back so far up is it melted yes it is and boom 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 quick 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 I have to work quickly here okay and then make sure it's the right way and just put it on top this one looks good purple here purple here so what do we do while we wait for this to dry? I pause, of course. See you in a bit. Okay, we're back. And I think I can safely remove this now. Yes, I can. Yeah, this is probably better than the other one, I think. Because it's, um, could have been better though. Because it's um, sticking out the end here. And then we tie this one again. Mm -hmm. So 
for which one is better guys all or none both both or none or this one or this one anyway so the details to all these tools will be down below and um see you in the next video i am going to be hopefully filming more and doing more and yes uh, i have the energy to do that right now thank you guys for watching thank you to everyone who subscribed everyone who subs just subscribed and thank you for watching and uh yeah tell me what you want to see and i'll try and do that thank you bye until the next time.